Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a song called Firm Foundation, He Won't, and this is by Maverick City Music featuring Chandler Moore and Cody Carnes. Like normal, I'll show you how to play it on acoustic guitar here, and we'll go through all of that stuff, and we'll move into another section. We'll talk about how to lead it, maybe some things that you can share with your team and your congregation, and scripture that would go well with this song. So, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day, a fabulous week. Welcome to the second, second video of 2022. Sorry, I had my pick in my hand. The second video of 2022 on this channel. And I really like this song. I thought this would be a great song to do next. So that's what we're gonna do. Before we get started, if you're new to this channel, my name's Justin and I make videos just like this all the time, worship tutorials and also other worship tips and tricks. There's not really tricks, but it's not another cool way to say that. Other content that might you might find useful or resourceful in terms of uh, the embetterment of your worship team and your worship community. And so sometimes those are tips. So if that's something you're interested in being a part of this community, consider subscribing. Uh, real quick as well, I have also launched a newsletter. It's in the description box below. You'll see that where it says links. You go to the links, you'll see all that good stuff. And I talked in my last video about the fact that I don't have a Patreon. Well, that's changed. This morning, officially, I have launched my Patreon and I would encourage you guys to go check it out. There's some cool stuff over there. So be sure to go look at that. It's a great place to support this channel, to support this ministry, if that's something that you have felt led to do. Great place to do that. In addition to that, there's also the opportunity to uh, find chord charts for the songs that I release, I publish on this channel. That's where I'm gonna start putting them. I'm gonna start putting them on, on Patreon. And so I do several uh, videos per month and so it could, range from one to 10. I don't even know. Uh, but you'll get several chord charts if you subscribe to that. And there's a couple of other tiers as well. So be sure to go check that out if that's something you're interested in. Enough talking about me. Let's actually dive into this song. So the key and the time signature, the key is D flat. We're going to capo on the sixth fret and we're going to play G shape. You could also capo one and play C shape, which is what we did in the last video because the last video was also in D flat. But just because it's a new video, let's do something different. So capo six playing G shape. And so we'll be, you'll see the national number system up here and then the corresponding chords underneath that. So the strumming pattern for this song, we'll talk about that for just a second. Um, it's, it's, it's in six, eight. So it's got this swing feel to it, a swing vibe. And so you're, if you listen to the song, it's, right. It's not. It's not so straightforward as that. It's right. Another song that fits more along the lines of like would be Good Good Father. If you listen to that song, it's in 6 8, and you'll notice kind of the strumming pattern is much different in that song than in this one. So think of it as just like just very loose and like a bum bum. And as I said in the last video, for me, I try to lock in with the drums in some of the patterns that they're playing. And so the snare drum is, I think, on the four of every bar. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And so it would be. So I might give a little bit more of a some sort of sort of spicy spazzazz on that that hit that would match the snare so just think about stuff like that okay moving on into the intro the song's very simple uh it's going to be and i'll throw it up here the intro is four bars well actually it's eight bars uh it's going to be two bars of our one chord which is g for us right and then they go to the one sus chord which essentially if you want to play it depending upon how you play your your g chord um I play it like this, where my pointer finger is is free, so my ring finger is on the top E string, and then so on and so forth from there. And that way, I can use my pointer finger to play the uh, the top fret, the first fret in this case. Well, technically, it's the. Anyways, that's gonna play the the B string. So there's our sus chord. Okay, very simple. And so they're going to play uh, those those chords there, and then just repeat it. So it would be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Back to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
into the verse. From there, they're gonna go into verse number one. Verse number one is going to be two bars of our one chord, which is G. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. From there, they're gonna go to the six minor, which is E minor. And then they're gonna do one bar of that, and then one bar of the five chord. So at least that section is one, two, Okay, so that's gonna be that section. And then from there, they're gonna uh, repeat that actually, they'll do that twice as I show here. Um, and then into this this next part of the verse and uh, d dynamically, uh, you can hear the shift and the change uh, in obviously the melody changes and the chord progression changes. So we're gonna go to our four chord, which is C for us. And then one over three, six minor, and five, and then that section, they're gonna just repeat that as well. So all together, this is the verse. One, two, three, four. Six minor, five, six minor, repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. To the four. One, two, three. One over three. Six minor, five. And then right there is when they drop into the first chorus. So looking at chorus number one, it is, uh, it's it's not really, it's, it's the chorus, but it's one of those choruses that's like, it feels more like a tag. So... Uh, we're not quite to a full chorus just yet, so we're just gonna call this chorus number one. It's the same thing as the intro. Moving on from there, we're gonna go into verse number two, and verse number two is the exact same thing, but because I love you and I want you to know what they're playing, uh, in the chord chart that I'm, I'm reading right now, which you can find on Patreon, and if you want to go join that community, I encourage you to go subscribe and get the chord chart so we can follow along together. Um, you'll see that at the end of verse number two, I've put this N slash C, which I'll throw up here. I'm just gonna throw up that last line of the uh, second verse. You'll have your four, one over three, which is G over B for us, six minor, and then in parentheses, you've got five, which is D, and then this no chord, which knowing that we're in six, eight, and there's two chords, that means they're gonna split that bar evenly. So that five chord is gonna get three beats, and then the no chord is gonna get three beats. Just so that you know, in parentheses like that, that just means that they're splitting the bar. Um, that no, no, no chord, it, get, it gets three beats. So if you're listening through the song, you'll hear this uh, one, two, three, or I'm sorry, it goes to the five. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, you'll hear this like break. Um, uh, the chords cut out, the drums cut out on like the, the one, two, on the, the end of two, I think, or something like that. Um, but there's just no chord right there. So let me just play through that last line and just give you a feel, and I'll do the count for it as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. What I typically do is uh, one, two, three, just kind of mute the guitar like that one two three it's kind of simple but just so you know it's a no chord right there uh you can do that if you want you cannot do that if you want but again i love you and i want you to know that i want you to know that i want you to know that i love you but i also want you to know that that that's that that's there and that's how you play it if that makes sense so yeah let's move on anyways we're gonna move on to chorus number two chorus number two is where it feels like a an actual chorus i'm doing that part where he, he won't, right? Get that part there. And then they're going to go into, he won't fail, right? So what they're doing there, you're hearing it. It's like, a ba, 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 right? Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put those chords up here. I, I know what they're playing here, but I'll show you here in just a second, but we're going to simplify it. So starting off, it's going to be the same thing as the intro, two, uh, two bars of the one, two bars of one sus. And then they're going to go, so that's that part where it's like, he won't, right? He won't. And then the next section, he won't fail me, or he won't fail. That's what it is, not fail me. That part is, um, 
So you'll see in parentheses here, six minor, five, and then a full bar of one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. And then from there, the next line um, is the same thing, except we're gonna go to a two minor instead of the four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, two minor for us is A minor. Um, so that's essentially uh, the, the, that, that chorus there. And then they just repeat all of that. So let me just play through that chorus one time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, two. One sus. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two minor. and then they go right back through it, okay? So that's going to be the simple way to play that, that section. Now, that's the simple version. That's, that's the simplified version of this chorus. If you wanna play it the way that they're playing it on the recording, at least that live version, and they're, they're doing those hits, and the ba -na 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 -na, it's going to be E minor, D, G, G over B, and C, so. Um, and that's that first line. So uh, let me just play through the top. Again. So. E minor, D, G, G over B, C. Okay, that's that first line. And then the next one is. You just replace that four with the, the two minor, the A minor. So all together, if you want to do those hits, this is the chorus. how you do that. I'm about 99% sure that that's the, the chords for that section. Actually, I'm 100% sure that that's the chords for that section. Moving right along, let's go into the turnaround, which is going to be one bar of our four, one bar of the five, one bar of one over three, and then a split bar, six minor to five. And then they just repeat that. So it would be one, two, three, four, Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's going to be the turnaround, and the turnaround is going to be the same chords as the bridge. I've got it uh, labeled as bridge one and bridge two, two different sections. Um, and they repeat bridge once a couple of times and then you'll hear it when the band really is like locked in and there's a lyric melody change and that's going to be bridge two. Uh, it's going to be um, the, the four, five, one over three, six minor five, what we just played for the turnaround. We're going to do that a total of six times. And so if you really, if you break it down to, to match the, the bridge lyrics, um, you're really just repeating the that that line twice three times so <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense or not if you're looking at the chart that i'm looking at right now you'll you'll see that i've got it i've got uh, four five one over three six minor five and then the same thing and then repeat that three times uh, but on up here i'm just going to put six times because two times three is six but you, as you're playing through this and you're playing with the chart and you're listening to the song and playing with that, you'll hear it and then you'll hear that shift and then we're going to go into bridge number two. Bridge number two is going to be, um, it's, it's going to be the same thing on that first line, same chords, four, five, one, or three, six minor and five. And then towards the end, right as they're about to go into another section, you'll hear it. They're going to go to a two minor and then I put five over seven 
I don't know how accurate that is, so don't uh, don't hold me to that chord. I'm I, I'm pretty confident that they're playing a five over seven right there. I can't. It's hard to make out what exactly they're playing, but I've got two minor, five over seven, one over three, six minor, and five. So let's just play through bridge two really quickly. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Try that again. And then from there, they're gonna go uh, into a really big verse, right? The, the it's it's all in. They're all in on that verse. Now the way it, when I listened to it, I was like, that sounds like a chorus, but it's not. It's it's the verse. So they're gonna repeat verse one. They'll do that, and then they go to a down chorus. Um, then that, that chorus, I know it repeats a couple of times and in my chart, I put, you can end after that. You can repeat any section that you want as des desired, but that's, that's essentially it. Again, that, uh, that's how you play it on acoustic guitar. If you have any questions about this, please let me know down in the comments below. I want to make sure that I clarify anything that was uh, not clear or was confusing or any mistakes that you might've noticed. Uh, but yeah, that's how you play it. I hope that was helpful. Uh, don't go anywhere just yet. Let's go and let's dive into the next portion of this video. All right, moving right along into the next portion of this video. Thank you guys for sticking around and it means a lot to me. And I think this is a very important aspect of worship ministry and worship music is knowing what we're singing and knowing why we're singing and being able to communicate that with our congregation. Again, this song is called Firm Foundation. And so there's uh, an obvious uh, understanding of um, possibly what this song is going to be about. And before I even heard it, I kind of thought that this might be what it would be about. And I was correct, not because I'm a genius, but I don't know, sometimes it's just that simple. And then after the first line of the first verse, I, I knew it because it says Christ is my firm foundation. Boom. Yeah, we got this. So this is a song of faith. It's a song of trust. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. And so our hope, our life, our beliefs, our faith, truth, all of those things, it's built on the firm foundation of righteousness. Okay, well, what's righteousness? Something or someone that is morally upright, perfect, uh, excellent. And there is only one that is righteous, uh, and his name is uh, Jesus. In summary, my hope, my faith, my life, um, all of those things, it's built on the firm foundation of Jesus Christ. Now, scripture to back this up, to uh, affirm this is, there's a few here I'm going to read. It's going to be Proverbs 12, 3, that says, no one is established by wickedness, but the root of righteousness will never be moved. Matthew 7, 24 through 25, which is the parable of building your, your house on the rock. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. This is Jesus saying this. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on the house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. You, this song is the embodiment of, of us finding our faith, placing our faith on the rock, right? We know who the rock is and we know what he represents. And lyrically in the song, it, it showcases that, that through generations, there's never been a moment where he has failed. There's never been a moment where a house that was built on the rock of Christ has fallen or where the rock of Christ has fallen, if that makes sense at all. Like, like the rock hasn't crumbled. I don't know if Jesus is a rock, it's, it's a rock and it's strong, right? And so as we move into the chorus, he's never failed and he won't. It's as simple as that. So this song is, I think, a powerful testimony and a powerful song to sing in worship of declaration, a, a song of declaration as we declare, as we sing, as we profess that our lives are built on the firm foundation of Jesus Christ. I hope that's encouraging to you. I hope that you're able to utilize that, share that with your worship teams. Maybe there's something in there you can pick, make it your own, uh, just an idea of maybe you could something you could share, showcase uh, with your worship team as you guys prepare to lead this song. But that's going to be everything that I have for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching, hanging out. Uh, if you got value out of this video, uh, please hit the like button and the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. 
Um, and then also, again, for the third time, go check out that Patreon video, uh, not video, Patreon account. I'm going to put it in the comments below and in the link in the description box. So easy access to it if that's something you feel led to go be a part of. We're going to start a journey on this thing and we're going to have some fun. And I'm going to do my best to resource you guys to the best of my ability. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. But other than that, thankful for you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing, blessed rest of your day or evening, the rest of your week. And we'll see you in the next video.